Good evening, folks. You've probably seen the headlines beneath the Greenland Glacier. It's the first impact crater discovered under one of Earth's ice sheets. Could be the reason for the end of the last ice age, according to many. I'm sure you've heard the hype. Let's get to the facts. Here is the paper coming out 14th of November yesterday, 2018. A large impact crater beneath Hiawatha Glacier in northwest Greenland. We report the discovery of a large impact crater beneath Hiawatha Glacier in northwest Greenland. From airborne radar, radar surveys, we identify a 31 kilometer wide circular bedrock depression beneath up to a kilometer of ice. This depression has elevated rim that cross cuts tributary subglacial channels and subdued central uplift that appears to be actively eroding. From ground investigations of the de deglaciated foreland, we identify overprinted structures within Precambrian bedrock along the ice margin that strike tangent to the subglacial rim. Glacio-fluvial sediment from the largest river draining the crater contains shocked quartz and other impact-related grains. I'd imagine stishovite is in there. Geochemical analysis of this sediment indicates that the impactor was a fractionated iron asteroid, which much, must have been more than a kilometer wide to produce the identified crater. However, it did not need to impact it could simply be a massive discharge above the surface of the planet. Radio stratigraphy of the ice in the crater shows that the Holocene ice is continuous and conformable. But all deeper and older ice appears to be debris rich or heavily disturbed, meaning that this crater happened at the beginning of the Holocene or the end of the last ice age approximately 12,900 years ago. The age of this impact crater is presently unknown, but they're going to be doing ice core samples and future research so we will glean more information. But from the geological and geophysical evidence, there is a conclusion that this is unlikely to predate the Pleistocene inception of the ice sheet, which means it's around 2 million, 2.7 million at its oldest, but probably not that old. That's the scientific paper. Over here at NASA, they have a video. The international team, NASA, made an unexpected discovery under the Greenland ice sheet. And let's watch that video now. In a remote area of northwest Greenland, an international team of scientists has made a stunning discovery, buried beneath nearly a kilometer of ice. It's an impact crater. 300 meters deep, 31 kilometers wide, much bigger than Washington, D.C., even bigger than Paris, and it's probably one of the youngest large impact craters on Earth. The relentless spread of the Greenland ice sheet has covered the crater, obscuring it from view for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years. Even so, scientists say it was essentially hiding in plain sight. So what finally revealed its presence? It all started with a rock, a map, and a connection made by scientists at the Natural History Museum in Copenhagen. Each day, scientists there pass by a large iron meteorite found in Greenland decades ago. One day, they got a new map of the bedrock topography beneath the ice sheet, mostly based on ice-penetrating radar data collected on board NASA's P-3 aircraft over two decades. This map gets more refined all the time, yet there are still areas open to interpretation, including the conspicuously semicircular edge of the ice sheet drained by the Hiawatha Glacier. There, the data showed a circular depression in the bedrock near the region where that courtyard meteorite had been found. In May of 2016, the team sent the German research plane Polar 6 to fly over Hiawatha Glacier with a powerful new ice-penetrating radar. Radar waves can travel through the ice, measuring its thickness and internal structure. Studying data from this airborne survey, the scientists confirmed the telltale bowl shape and central peaks beneath Hiawatha Glacier. 
They also found that the oldest ice in this crater was actually fairly young by Greenland standards and had experienced a great disturbance in its flow toward the end of the last ice age. The team then visited the area on foot and in sediments deposited by a river draining out of the glacier, they found grains of the mineral quartz that showed signs of being physically shocked in a massive impact. Models suggest the asteroid was more than a kilometer wide. The Hiawatha Crater is one of the 25 largest known impact craters on Earth and the first found under any of our planet's ice sheets. Crucially, the Hiawatha Impact Crater still looks like an impact crater, even though it's covered by ice and seems to be rapidly eroding. The data as a whole suggest that the crater is quite young, geologically speaking. But we don't yet know exactly when an asteroid sped toward Earth, through the atmosphere, and into the planet's crust in northwest Greenland. It was likely less than three million years ago, but it might have been as recently as during the last ice age, 12 to 115,000 years ago. The impact could have also occurred when ice already covered Greenland, and it would have instantly vaporized billions of tons of ice and rerouted the flow of ice and water into the ocean. Whenever the impact happened, life on Earth at the time would have been profoundly affected. An impact of this size is unlikely to happen again soon, but evidence that it might have happened not so long ago in Earth's history is essential to assessing the risk today. This is the first study of the Hiawatha Impact Crater, but it still holds many secrets waiting to be discovered. Quite an amazing story. And it's amazing to me that they have only uncovered this information recently. Now, this isn't the only evidence of a catastrophe occurring at the end, of the beginning of the Holocene, at the end of the last ice age. We have thousands of impact structures on the east coast of North America, the United States, called the Carolina Bays. Many think Hudson Bay might be an impact feature. And there is ample evidence of amazing outwash and melting of the entire northern hemisphere ice cap, especially near Oregon on the west coast, which suggests that other multiple objects may have hit the other portions of the ice sheet, not just Greenland. So this catastrophe is just unfolding the data set before your very lives. And what we can glean is that there is definitely a half a mile wide chunk of something that hit us around 12,900 years ago, specifically here at the Hiawatha Glacier. The maximum age for it is 2.7 million years, according to the study, when an iron meteorite more than a half a mile wide smashed into North Greenland with a boom and a splash and then a tidal wave so we'll leave you links to the paper we'll leave you links to the NASA video that you just watched and all the data even sacred geometry international coming out with its own spin here impact crater 19 miles wide found beneath Greenland glacier there is a plane for scale And in fact, it's the first impact crater discovered under one of Earth's ice sheets ever. Which is another boom, but not the New York Times. That's a rag, so we'll erase it. Now, what's going on? Is an asteroid coming? What's going on with all these stories and these studies and these uh, ex discoveries? Did you know that NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office budget suddenly exploded to $150 million? This is just coming out a month ago, 28 days to be exact. It didn't make many national headlines, but the proposed budget for NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office 
was just increased by $90 million. Boom! That's quite a few dollars. <laughs> it's more than double, almost triple. At a time when our national budget is already stretched to the max, it seems like an odd thing to be spending triple the money for. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office is only two years old, and it's in charge of tracking threats posed by near-Earth objects such as asteroids like the one we're covering right now. Big ones. Needless to say, if a giant asteroid suddenly hit our planet, it would be the greatest catastrophe in modern times for those that survived. And it may be coming. The common impact the, in the Indian Ocean that may have submerged Dwarka, yes, may be part of all this. It may all be connected. The sinking of Atlantis, the submerging of Dwarka, the destruction of the last megalithic race, the Golden Age ending in destruction via cosmic catastrophe the world has never seen and may seen soon. The time is now to prepare for any eventuality. If you live by a coast and this happens, you're doomed. There is no escape. But if you live inland and high up, you will survive. And those of us that do survive will thrive in the future because we're preparing now. We love each and every one of you. The facts are in. It's not a question of if. It is a question of when. Be safe, everyone. And that's a boom. Of epic proportion. <laughs>